everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin in Tater Buggin Studio. Get ready to wing it. Y'all come on in. If you're watching on replay, comment hashtag replay or just say hello and let me know you were here. Um, if you're new, please let us know that too so we can welcome you. And if you're watching on YouTube, we would love for you to like, comment, subscribe, even click the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Hey, Betty. And you can even fast forward through this first part if you don't want to hear me say hello to all my friends because I love to do that. How's everybody doing? Hey, Jermaine and Linda. Nancy's here. Yay. Let me fix my comments there. Okay. Hey, Michelle and Claudia. <laughs> Mr. T is getting his hair cut right now. He, the same girl that does mine does his, and I've been friends with her for years and years. And uh, she just texted me something about what he was wanting. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Hey, Nadim. Who did I miss? Cindy's here. Hey, Cindy. Hey, hey, Zine. And Trudy from Canada. Hi, Sue and Claudia. Did I say he hello to you, Michelle? Hey, Michelle. Who else is coming? All oh, my friends are coming in. I'm so excited. Darlene, you're visiting your mama in New Mexico. Fun. Hug your mama for me. Hi, Debbie and Opa. Hey, Linda. Lori's here. Hey, Nancy. Hi, Frida. Kathy. Michelle. Thank you. The shirt is Belle Lily. I think we, yeah, um, Cindy has already pinned. Y'all check out that new um, link. Belle Lily made me a web page. No, no, Lindy, it's not a web. Well, kind of. It's a blog. And so you can go, you can click that. It's got my discount code at the top, and it shows you everything that I ordered this time. This is probably, well, I think this is probably my favorite one from this um, order. Hi, Iris and Sandra. Thanks, Regina, for tossing the taters. Hey, Leanne. So, um, you can go right over there and see the Belle Lily stuff. I also have, uh, you know, I only wear uh, Love and Life jewelry, but they had their accessories are kind of expensive, and I saw this. Lindy, get it right. There we go. The, I've got the camera backwards. Can I get it up there? To, can y'all see it? Anyway, it's one bracelet. Hold on. <laughs> it's one bracelet, but uh, see, one piece kind of cool and it's got the magnetic closure too so it's easy to put on by yourself uh, and then these earrings are love and life jewelry and I love them they hang long because my hair kind of covers my ears Trish knows I like these longer ones and they just have really cool findings on them I love them so love and life jewelry by Lily there we go there's all that is it hot where y'all are? Danielle, is it hot in Knoxville? Hey, Judy Zeppa. Hey, Carol. Um, it's, the heat index here today is 112. Like Penny William, Penny, are you here? I just saw Penny's post. So the, the weather outside today is disrespectful. It is. <laughs> it is so humid here that there's all this stuff hanging in the air and there are advisories and um, anyway, thank you, Darlene. Hey, Vicki. Hi, Dawn. Yeah, she makes such pretty jewelry. Um, 94 in Wisconsin, Iris. Oh, goodness. Hey, Stacy. Oh, it's even hot in Minnesota. Oh, it's a heat wave this week. We just deal with it. I'll take this over snow any day, though. I'll tell you that. I don't like the cold. Hey, Bertha. Did I see Grace come in here? Hey, Carmella. I know. I don't get to see your sweet self enough anymore. I'm just outside of Memphis, Debbie, um, in Bartlett, Tennessee. I mean, you might as well call it Memphis. Hey, Melissa. Uh, yeah, might be. See, this is the problem. When I have my little turntable in front of me, I can't quit playing with it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do. Hey, Melanie. Um... Y'all know Ellie's Attic, right? My sweet friend Elizabeth Bauer at Ellie's Attic does some of the coolest stuff. And I thought I should wait a little while, and then I thought, no. 
I talked to her about it, and I have, I want to take her magnificent idea and do it tater bugging style, and let's see what happens. And I don't even know that I can do it. So y'all, when I say I wing it, I really wing it, and a lot of times I rely on y'all to kind of talk me through stuff. But I immediately, when I saw her, I want to call it a sunshine face because that's what it reminded me of. Um, it was just so cool. Now hers is on a big wood round like this. And I know Cindy has a link for the video. Hey Tammy, is it, oh, it's, yeah, that, just like us, Kathy, ugh. So, I got to thinking, I, I, when I watched her do it, and she, it's a two-parter. Um, I did, Stacy. I sure did. It made me, it kind of made me think of my tools of mass creation, which, let me go on and show y'all the little version. I made a little version, and somebody that's on here today it's gonna get this happy mail. It's, what, wait, let me see. I measured it the other day, I think it's eight by eight, is that right? Yeah, it's eight by eight. I got this little palette at Pop Shelf. You know, I posted about our Pop Shelf. It has a stand or a hanger, so you can use it either way. And I signed it and I dated it. So, this is gonna go to one of y'all today. Let's fly, Lori. Let's fly. So, I watched her start it on um, Thursday. Is that right? It was Thursday? Was it Friday? It was Friday. She started it Friday. She was not happy with it. Um, hey, Gail. I'm going to use some of your chalk paint today. Uh, and then, um, Saturday, she she, you know, she wasn't happy with it. It kept talking to her, and I love her process. It kept talking to her, so <clears throat> changed it up. And by her uh, live last night, <coughs> excuse me, by her live last night, hey, Amy, it's hanging behind her in her studio, and I love it so much I have to have one. I have this Goodwill piece. Somebody's probably going to cringe. If y'all didn't see that, please go back and watch her video because it is worth it. It is so fun. Um, oh, y'all like it? Yay! It's a bit jerky. Oh, absolutely, Danielle. I think everybody needs to know about Ellie's Attic. Oh, did you, Robin? Oh, it, hers was cute. It was cute. Hey, Arlene. Oh, thank you. You're sweet. Hey, Sharon. There's the link to um, the Ellie's Attic video that I was talking about. This was $1.99 at Goodwill. And do I tell y'all what? The, I don't know. I looked it up, and I don't think it's like something real special or expensive. But I'm doing it anyway today. It says Walnut, and it says, uh, was it James Robertson? But it's round, it's the coolest shape. It's not real deep, see that? And it has a lip on it. So, I'm doing it my way. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Vicki and Debbie. Thanks for sprinkling, Vicki. I thought so too, Melissa. When she pulled out that stencil, she got a stencil, it's a chalk couture stencil. If y'all wanna do one. Gail Chandler made me this great um, chalk paint in several colors. I thought about it today, and I want dark underneath. You'll see how it's how it's going to be. I hope it works out. I hope I can do this right. And I thought about painting this first, and I thought, no, I want y'all to see it um, unpainted first. It's just chalk paint. It's going to dry fast. So I think we're, we'll be okay. Today, all I'd have to do is sit it outside for five minutes, if that, and it would be ready. But I've got, um, you know, a heat tool, so. Here's what I'm going to do. I am not going to paint the back today. I'll do that off camera when everything else is dry because if I have to wait for this to dry and then turn it over, but I'll tell you the back will be this same color. 
so. It does, doesn't it? It was hand done. Mr. James Robertson, please forgive me for what I'm doing to your beautiful bowl in walnut, but I'm going to love it even more, I promise. So there, maybe, maybe that's good. <laughs> I thought about it, and I thought about it. It's been sitting in here for months. I'm not joking. Months. And, um, I'm getting paint all over me. I don't want those little globs. Um, I just decided I'm, I'm going for it. Donna, I'm sorry. Hey, Francis. He made that on a lathe. I know. I know. It's beautiful, and I love it. I promise I, if I don't mess it up, I'm going to really love it afterwards. Y'all don't. I know. Oh, am I going to lose all of y'all because I'm painting this? Mm. Please don't leave me. Please forgive me. I could have had, well, I don't know. I think we're getting low on certain kinds of wood right now. We got to we got to get on it, but, um, I think, I, you know, I could have had Mr. T cut me around, but I, I wanted it this shit, I mean, I wanted it, never mind, I can't, I don't think I can win on that one, <laughs> so, anyway, hey, Vicki, oh, thanks, Carol, I hope, I hope y'all don't get too mad at me. Mm, mm, mm. Should have brought a wet rag out here. I'm not as good with the turntable as Ellie, um, as Elizabeth is, I'll tell you that. I'm trying to make friends with it and use it more often, but I don't know. Sometimes I don't think it's too much trouble. Okay. Suddenly have a <laughs> if doors start slamming and stuff, I'll just call it Mr. Robertson. <laughs> oh me. Yeah, nobody's outside today because it's too dang dumb hot, right? Well, yeah, I would never put it in the dump and you know, I mean somebody donated it to Goodwill. I looked it up online, and just because, since I only have like one, I, it was not all that, you know, I don't know. Anyway, here, it'll be, it'll be a Lindy original now, <laughs> worth so much. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Francis, it's our bowl now. I'll paint it on the back and sign it with <laughs> Lindy. <laughs> hey, Bonnie, thank you, Norma. Oh, I don't know, Danielle. This could be a hard fail because I'm going to try, I'm going to try the glue technique live. I've done it just, you know, on my own, but I've never done it on a live. I don't believe, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. And then when I went out, went to get my Elmer's glue out, all I have was this off-brand. It's school glue. That'll work, right? Does it have to be Elmer's? Uh, yeah, Carol, that's how I feel about it. Love this shirt, that shirt for Flag Day. I, I should have worn one of my patriotic shirts, and I didn't. And I, I thought about doing a flag today. And then I thought, well, I think a lot of other people will probably be doing flags, which they should. Have to watch replay, Janice. Okay. Oh. <gasps> no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Janice. Oh, please be careful. That is a, it's a, yeah, it's bad. Oh, Judy, that's so sweet. Wait, I'm missing so many good comments. What? Somebody said it'll work. Oh, I'm sorry, Diane. I don't know. I did that. I don't know. I had to go out and come back into Ellie's Attic vi live video last night probably five times. I don't know what's going on. Alice, thank you. Okay. Okay, so it will work. Patty. I know you follow Ellie's Attic, right? 
um, I just have to try what she did with that face. I have to. It was imperative. I did. I, I painted it. Please don't be mad, Patty. I did paint it with this chalk paint, gray chalk paint that Gail Chandler made for me, one of our sweet tater bugs. Uh, Darla, I'm not on my end. Hey, Trish, we were talking about you earlier. All right, I'm gonna use an older brush. This is one of my, you know, the brushes. I'm so sorry it's freezing up. You do use dollar store glue, okay. I've been having trouble for about a week when I watch other people, and uh, yeah, it does get frustrating. I try to, I hang in there though as best I can. I'm gonna just do it, I'm just, <sighs> wait. I want a bigger, mm, a bigger brush. This one's not so good. Okay. I'm going to try to keep this going. I want big cracks. I want this, because I'm going to think of it as a sunshine. So I want it distressed first. I don't know how this is going to work. Smith. Smith Woods and Treasures. Hello. Tell me your name. You're on as your business. And I appreciate that. I love for you to come on as your business, but I like to call you by your name. I do too. Who said that? Uh, Francis. Yes. And then in her video, in her live last night, it was hanging in the background. And that thing, it, it just makes me happy. When she pulled that stencil out and she told us what she was doing. Oh my goodness. I got so excited, and then I felt bad for her because um, she thought she hadn't done good. She is a trooper, always, and she just couldn't stand that it didn't work out. She got back on Saturday morning, and she killed it. I, can I say that? I don't know if I can say that. Always with the words, y'all. Okay. I watched yet another video on this technique just today just to refresh my memory they suggested letting this get a little tacky is that right before I before I uh... oh, so sorry Diane I'm sorry maybe watch on replay on YouTube later I don't want to lose you I'm sorry hi Jerry that's okay. That's all right. I just want to be sure I call you by your name because I've got my contacts in. I can't really tell from your little um, profile picture. That's what I was hoping, Janet. And I'm going to kind of watch it. I want to see it congeal a little bit more. Um, I'm going to give it just a minute. And then we're going to pull out. I've got colors. I've got sunny day, I've got light orange, I've got antique gold, hey Marjorie, she did, Opa, she did, that's what I always have to do, Alice, is just go out and come back in as many times as it takes, hey Kristen, how are you doing? I've even got a little crimson we might go crazy with. Anyway, I've got all the all these yellows and oranges because I want it kind of streaky. Reminds me of a face on one of... Yes, it does. That, uh, oh, what's the name of that Sunday morning show? Trish used to always watch it. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. i got to go follow your page. Hey, Amanda. How are you doing? There's some sweet Amanda from Amanda Maid. Um, might regroup and go in a different, we try not to, yeah, it just, or else it just makes us insane, we can't, we gotta do it. Oh, okay, good, Lee sent you over, oh, I love it, I love it. Turn, wait, 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 turn your project, glue, pluing, glue, uh, glue, <laughs> glue, 
clothing. Thank you, thank you, yes. I don't want that. And it is starting to get a little tacky. That's what I want. Okay. I'm going to start with some yellows now. I'm going to go back to where I was. Anybody that's new, let us know. Yeah, so we can say, so we can welcome you. I need ideas on what to do with my 50 or so wee yogurt jars. <laughs> yes, those are the greatest little jars. Um, I made, I made a, I made them into candle holders around in the hall during the holidays. Let's see. Let me move this over here. Let's get a little palette going. I think there are go on Pinterest and just put in search we yogurt jars, and I bet you come up with a jillion. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Rita. Did it? Okay. Well, I am, uh, I'm excited. I'm going to put out a few of these colors and just start playing now. And then we're, after it crackles, then comes the face. The face. This is old paint. I wonder if I can get any out of this. I like this color. Oh, yeah, I can. Wow. Okay. Look how old this is. This is Americana burnt orange. Look at that label. That's how old that is. They don't look like that anymore. I'm sorry, Diane. I really am. Um, hopefully, next time will be better. No. No, he did not, Cheryl. Oh, you know my son had it last week. He's back to work now. He's doing good, but... I, it's uh, apparently raising its ugly head again. I don't like wee yogurt either, Opa. I got some for the jars because I wanted to try some crafts with them. And um, I didn't like it. But yogurt doesn't agree with me anymore. I used to have it every morning in a smoothie or for breakfast with some granola. It doesn't agree with me anymore. I can't do it. Let's use this brush. Okay, I'm going to start with yellow sunny day and I'm not gonna fuss over this too much because I want it I want it to um, I want it to look kind of old you know I want it to look weathered and I don't want to work it too much I heard you're not supposed to work it too much I didn't even see if Elizabeth's here. Elizabeth, are you here today? She's probably still at work. She'll be live at 545. Let's get a little streak of orange in here. I gave myself a little challenge with this lip on it, but I really just love the shape, so I'm going for it. It'll work or it won't. Oop. There we go. YouTube tends to replay a lot better. Um, and you can find my videos a lot more easily there. So I've heard from people. So hopefully watching on replay won't be as frustrating. That's what I hope. So, uh, I don't want that chunk in there. Right in the middle. That's okay. Get out of there. Let's see what happens if I put just a streak of red in it. That's kind of, that's kind of in your face. But it's not bad. That's not bad. Let's put a little on this side to even it out. Do I like that? Kind of, kind of yucky. 
Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to just go in one direction. I went backwards, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to stop so I don't, maybe, hopefully, don't mess it up too much. And let's see what happens. Because, you know, if it doesn't work, I'll sand it and do something else. I don't know. Hopefully, it's going to crack up real good. Don't y'all love to just watch paint dry? <laughs> I put on my craft room on shelves for smaller items, but I, I missed that. Right down here? Yeah, that's going to let the, um, <gasps> it's doing really good. <laughs> oh, this could be really fun. And again, for those of you who may have missed it, I did ask Elizabeth if she minded if I did this today, and she didn't mind at all. And I want to send everybody who hadn't seen her video on this particular, she did it differently. Um, yeah, I don't, I won't, it's turning out good, so I'm not going to repaint it. I'm like, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Now, how often does that happen around here, huh? I'm, I'm really loving how that's turning out. But I do want it good and dry because we're putting a face on it. Hey, Connie. Thank you, Carol. I, I really like this shirt. This is a Belle Lily. Um, and I think this is one of my favorites from this last order. And if you click that link... I was telling everybody at the beginning, um, they've made a blog page for us tater bugging folks, all of y'all. It's going to have the discount code at the top, and it has, it, it's so easy to find whatever I'm wearing, and it'll show you already what's in my, um, in this order. And let me ask y'all this while I have you here. Crackle is so fun. It, I know, Vicki. I love it. I love it. Um, I've tried a candle and I've tried Vaseline, too. So far, the glue's winning me over. I think it's my favorite so far. Iris, that's a good question. I don't think so. I think, you, I think I've done it on a canvas before. Did I? I think I did. I think I did it on a canvas. It does look like the fall, doesn't it, Claire? So, I wanted to ask y'all about it. Would you be interested in me doing just like an extra live, a little fast pop-on live where I just show you what's in this order, uh, in this Bell Lily order all at once? I'd love to hear what you think about that idea while we watch paint dry. But th it's crackling so good, and it it's looking exactly like I had hoped. And, and that doesn't happen to me very often, <laughs> frankly. So thank you, Jonna. That's dry. Y'all, look at that. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, that was fun. Oh, Robin, girl, always use my code. Use my code, get a discount. Get a discount, all right. Put that over here, put that over here get this out of the way so I don't make a mess with it and we're going to show show my order okay we can you know we can hop on um, at any point you know I'll just hop on at some point and just show you black paint wake up Wendy wax makes your project chippy paint look do you love it Trish Brenda, if I do it live, I can't model it because I have to change tops and everything. I'm not sure how I would do that, but I can at least hold them up and show them to you. Do you know if Bill Lily ships to Canada? Yes, they do. I'm almost positive they ship all over the world. Yeah, the Bell Lily code is always Lindy15, so that's all you got to do at checkout. Just put in Lindy15. I'm <laughs> not a good model. And as of today, y'all, I'm telling you, 
I'm going to get some weight off of me. So now I've told all however many, 190 of you, and i got to do it. i just got to do it. I'm tired of this. I think instead of doing it like this, woo, let me turn my air down a little bit because it is hot. Trying this on polymer clay. Oh, Martha, let us know. Let us know how that works. Hey, Myrtle. It does. This would be a great sunflower project. I was going for sunshine and weathered, and we'll see. Ah, there's Elizabeth Bauer. Yes, Elizabeth. This is my. This is one of my Goodwill bowls <clears throat> for a dollar ninety nine. Look at the shape. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna paint the bottom like I told y'all. But look, we crackled it, and now I'm gonna put the face on. She had a cool stencil. It's really big. And of course, I'm not a stencil gal. I'm just not. So I went and looked up the stencil and I kind of drew it out on this sheet of paper over here with a pencil. So I would remember how I want to do it. And I'm just going to jump in. I'm just going to go for it. Did it take long to get your order? It's probably um, going to take a couple of weeks. I'm trying to remember how long this last one took. It usually takes a couple of weeks. Don't y'all find that the Belle Lily orders, they are coming from China, I will tell you that. So hard to lose at this stage in life. It is, Amanda, it, um, menopause is not being kind. And I want this to look kind of, you know, I'm going with that old look. Oh, I hope I can pull this off. Oh, Iris, I think sometimes it would look a whole lot better if I did use a stencil. Well, honestly, I can't say that because when I use a stencil, I, I, it usually bleeds out. I make a mess. I've always just gotten frustrated with stencils. My dad was good at using stencils. I'm not. <laughs> I drank coffee, my afternoon coffee, right before this, so maybe a little shaky. Elizabeth couldn't hear me on that first one when the stencil, it had mesh in it, so she used a different, um, paste than the chalk couture. It was an absolute learning lesson for all of us that that paste did not work because of the mesh, but the stencil didn't transfer all the way through. <clears throat> so where was I going with that? Um, I was hollering at her from while well, I was watching her live. <laughs> paint it on there. Just paint that face on there. But she had already gone a different route, and that was okay. We got to see a cool technique that she does with a, a different kind of paste and how she mixes the colors that I thought were just fantastic. Okay, here's what we have so far. I hope this is going to turn out cute. Come on. Um, but, boy, she got that stencil out the next day, and she redid that. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love the colors of the, oh, that she put on the board. First two curve lines made me wonder. I wonder what I. T what I what, the bowl is wood, Sue. So yeah, I, I, please don't be mad at me. But it's been sitting in my studio so long, 
and it was time to do, I wanted, I wanted to make something out of it. And I'm painting a face on it. <laughs> That's what I always tell her to do, love. Paint a face on it. She tells me that too. <laughs> and then, as I recall, my bottom chin was just a thing like that. That's kind of cool. I kind of want it to be. I want to play with it a little bit. I don't want it to just look so perfect of being on this, uh, not that it looks perfect, I mean dark black, you know, I want it to look weathered too. Uh, Emmy and Murphy, hey Emmy and Murphy, how are y'all doing? Are you having fun? Saw so y'all went to the farm. <laughs> are you painting any faces tonight, Amanda? <laughs> I'm just seeing what it looks like if I add a little gray to it. I don't know, maybe in p in parts. Oh, did you really, Janet? That's cool. You could, yeah. I just I had drawn a pencil sketch. This is on an order sheet for, this. <laughs> but I had drawn a pencil sketch first to look at. Um, and I decided to go for it because I didn't want to, no, no faces tonight, huh? <laughs> I didn't want the pencil to, how do I put it? You know, I had this good crackle effect, so I thought I'll just, just go for it. But yes, you know, you could even draw it on with chalk first. That's okay. Now that's kind of cool. Let me let me do a little bit more of this, adding a little gray in it here and there, and it, that kind of makes it look a little more weathered and washed out. I think I like that better. Can you even tell? I don't know. It's not quite as cool as Elizabeth's, but it's kind of fun. I think I, I think I made her wink a little too low. Yeah, that's what I, I do to that too, uh, Betty. That's good. But it needs something. Okay, it needs something. So I brought it. Oh, you know what I could do. What if we, what if we diamond dusted a little bit on the, the cheeks, like two little diamond dust circles on the cheeks, and then we get out some stickles. And we do a little stickling. I've got dark wax that I could kind of do over it and then wipe it off so it gets down in the cracks more. What do y'all think? We're only at 39 minutes, so. Doing it. Oh, you have VBS late in the day. Oh, you know what? Do I have any more pork? So my idea came from Ellie's Attic. If y'all haven't seen her video, do it. You need to. Hers looks so good. Way better than this one because it's big and she just really did it. The bottom eyelashes to the other eye. Oh, okay. Okay, Barbara, that's a good idea. Let me go on and do that before I forget. I'm going to do little ones. Right 
accent on the eyeball. I like that too. Let's go on and do that. I think that'll be cool, uh, Barbara, to diamond dust the cheeks. There's her little white accent in her eye. Okay. I'm just going to use my finger. This is Mod Podge. solid mouth or lower lip. Well, the one, I actually looked up the stencil that she used and uh, online at Chalk Couture and uh, drew mine from that stencil. So I think that, that's how it, but Ellie, I keep calling you Ellie, <laughs> Elizabeth. Um, she may, I can't remember her painting more onto it though. I like the diamond dust cheeks. And we're going to stickle her up a little bit, I think, for the fun of it. Of course, that'll dry clear. Y'all know that. And she'll be sparkly. And this goes over here because I've got to put it back in my diamond dust container. So, let's see what this... Where do I want to put it? Nope, just let it be. Don't put stickles on it. Oh, Martha, yeah, I've been having that trouble myself, too. Any thoughts, y'all? So, should I, should I weather it a little bit with, a, like, around the edges, maybe? I should have done that before I've diamond dusted, shouldn't I? With some dark wax. Thanks, Leanna. I didn't see you come in. You didn't paint yours any extra? I didn't think you did. I didn't use that. Okay. Yes to stickles. All right. Let's do some stickling. That's so cute. Uh, I was hoping the wax would just go down in the crackles, but I don't know, and now I'm stickling, so I'm probably not going to wax. But that's something I'd like to try sometime is uh, doing this technique and then putting some wax on top and seeing how that does, because we don't know until we try, all right? Oh, she's fancy now. Can y'all see the stickles? What else does she need? I almost want to... <laughs> I think I might. Where is it? Are you talking to me, Dee Dee? Hey, Yvonne! There's my friend Yvonne from Southern Designs and Finds, Rita Stickles. They're like, um, in the 90s, you know, we used puff paints, like glitter puff paints. They're kind of like that, but I have a lot more control over these. You'll find them um, over their Ranger. So you'll find them with the um, Tim Holtz things. So it gives, it's a dimensional glitter paint pen. It is a, it's a very, um, very shallow bowl, and I loved the shape of the edges, and that's why I wanted to do this. Yes, the wink transfer from Chalk Couture. Have y'all looked at it? It's so cool. It is so, so cool. It's probably like she is much, yes, that's, 
that's what I did. I put the, you can't really see it on here, but I put stickles on her eyes like she's got sparkly eyeliner on. Um, let's take a little bit of this. It's called Na uh, Naphtha Crimson. It is. It's huge, yes. Can, hey, uh, Elizabeth, can you use stickles on fabric? That's where I'm going with it. Who said that? Who? You read my mind, Tony. What do y'all think about that red on her lip? Wonder what would happen if you painted with puff paint. Huh. Hey, Stephanie. There's Stephanie from Windy City Crafts. How you doing, girl? Glad to see you. Um, all right, y'all. I because I'm envisioning her, you could you could get one of those plate holders and hang it on the wall. I even thought about putting it in the, you know, the plate stands. I have a million around here. And just set it up, you know, it's just kind of fun. Wouldn't this be so fun to paint on a t-shirt? That would be really cool. She has diamond dust on it. Would you still be able to, wait a minute. Can a peach or pink on the cheeks? Yeah, I don't, I've got diamond dust on her cheeks. It's starting to dry, so it's harder to see on camera, but she does have diamond dust on her cheeks because she's fancy like that, you know. It's, it's not as, the background turned out the way I wanted it to. I didn't draw the stencil as great as I had hoped. I like the looks of um, Elizabeth's a lot better, so y'all have to go look at hers. Wait, gotta get my Connie, that would be so cool. Thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, I lo oh, love me some diamond dust. These ladies turned me on to diamond dust, and I just love it. Um, I don't hate her lips. It's something about her eyes, but I want to, I want to do it again. I may do it, I may do it on a, just a round piece of wood and see what y'all think about it, but I don't hate this. I do like that pop of red, um, and I just really love the crackle the most. I like that she looks old. What would have, y'all, what would have happened if, because y'all are good at this technique, if I had painted the background over the glue and then real quick painted this face in black and then let it crackle? How would that have been? Add some red to the other face lines. I can do that. You think that would help? On a garden angel, the kind with a body made from... Oh, that would be so cool, Margaret. Oh, yeah, I'll do another one. I can't post the. <laughs> well, I could cut it out and do it. Sure, I can post that as a template. I'd be happy to. Rub and buff would be perfect on the edges. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I, I thought I got my rub and buff out. Maybe I didn't. Let's just try it. We've got a little bit of time. But I have something I want to talk to y'all about, and we do have happy mail. I forgot I had, I had the silver stickles too. You know what I'm gonna do? I keep looking at her mouth. Leave it as is, you don't want me to rub a little bit on the edges. So you like that, Stephanie? Okay, okay. I just wondered if, um, maybe I messed up and it, Lindy, don't mess it up now. 
Nothing, nothing. That just kind of made it look older, so I'm not going to hate on it. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's do this. It's the open eye that isn't quite right. Yeah, I like her mouth, but the open eye. What is it? What do you think I should do with the open eye? A skosh too small or tilted. Yeah, you're probably right. It's kind of like mine. Y'all, I was <laughs> putting on my makeup today. And I kept thinking, what is wrong with my right eye? You know, it just felt heavy. And I kept looking at it. And look at the difference. This eye is trying to shut today. What's that all about? I don't know what that's about, but it's half closed. It's about to drive me crazy. Ooh, I like this on the edges. It's just, you can barely see it, but it's, I like it. It kind of finishes out the edge. And uh, this is um, Autumn Gold. Yeah, my eyes certainly aren't the same. <laughs> Definitely not today. I think it is allergy, Sandra. I think it goes back to what I was saying in the beginning. We're, we have so much humidity and heat today, well, this week, actually, that we're under advisories and warnings. And I think it's the stuff that's hanging in the air that's just messing with me. You know, Linda, that could be my problem, too. I, I've been having so much trouble with my sinuses, so that, but it's, it's funny, it's this side that I'm having trouble with with my sinuses, but it's this eye that's doing it. <laughs> my right side is tired. My whole side is tired. <laughs> All my sides are tired right now, <laughs> that's for sure. And little mama wants to go shopping tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even know if y'all can tell it on that end. Can you see the rubbing but Yeah, yeah. See the, how that kind of finished off the edges? I love it. Thank you, Tammy. That's so sweet of you to send those stars. Ooh. No, don't paint the back of the bowl. I'll leave. Okay. Came in from the pool. I was talking about you earlier, Penny. You were right about uh, the weather being disrespectful. Heat index of 112 here today. I don't know what it is in, in Indiana. Oh, I hope not, Patty. I really hope not. I don't like those. Thank you for the hearts. The rub and buff, good call. Right there on the... I'm, I'm not hating her. I, she gives me this vibe of, um, you know, the old... 60s signs, the 50s and 60s signs that weathered and it, they would just had funky stuff on it. I'm going to keep practicing painting this face because as I look at her now, I see what you mean about her eye. It's wonked up on that side, kind of wonky, which I usually like, but I didn't want that eye to be wonky. But that's okay. It's okay. We're going to look. Get that one, Lori. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, peace child, right, Nelda? Wouldn't this be so cool on the front of a t-shirt? I'm going to talk to my... I need to paint this. Oh, y'all. Hold, hold on. Hold on just a minute. I had an idea. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I know right where it is. Here. I have stuff in this studio just sitting around waiting to turn into things. I bought this round canvas at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. A long time ago. And I did my texture medium on it. Can you see the texture on it? Guess what? I'm going to paint this to look like this. And we'll see if we can't turn it into t-shirts. What do you think? She cracks you up. 
<laughs> yeah, every now and then I get a creative attack. Okay, so I, a yeah, light bulb moment for sure. And those are the kind of things that usually come to me in the middle of the night. But this is already prepped and ready to go. Oh, I should have thought of this, but I don't know. No, I'm glad I did it on my little wood bowl first. And then we're going to do that. We're going to do that. So before I get into the one thing I want to talk about, Cindy, let's, let's talk about our happy mail. This is our last big happy mail for celebration week. Of course, I'm going to make it up. That's correct. Wait till I tell you what my brain was thinking up at 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> um, apron too. Yeah. By the way, you know, we have, well, this is the original design, the tools of mass creation. We have mugs, aprons, totes, koozies, and t-shirts. So they're all in the online shop in case you missed that. Um, and then somebody that's here today, Cindy's going to scroll and pick a name and uh, let you know to message me your shipping address. This is 8 by 8 just a mini version, and I used old paint brushes, just smaller ones than the original version. And we're going to still have Elizabeth live with me soon, my mom live with me soon, and uh, Tanya from Hummingbird Paintery. We just got to reschedule because we had a bump in the road last week. Can't wait to see it on your other surface. I know, now I'm so excited. I can't wait to do it. Um, now, I know Cindy's just going to give it a few minutes to let people comment and stuff. Hi, Ann. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Kristen. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you, Dee Dee. Um, so while we're doing this, you want me to put the uh, sunshine on a coffee cup too? He can do it. Yeah, maybe if I do take mom shopping tomorrow, She'll be captive in Taterbug. We may just go live in Taterbug if we can stand the heat. Oh, Janet, which, this or the, the sunshine? He's doing great now. He's back to work, Melissa. Thank you. Debbie Gwynn. Ta-da! This is coming to your house. Just message me your address, Debbie. Debbie Gwynn. And listen... You know, you can find these little palette type piece surfaces all over the place. This paper is from Walmart. It's a book in Walmart. It's multimedia, I think is what it was called. And you just put it on there. This is a part of a cereal box or cracker box. And just grab your old paint brushes. If you don't have old paint brushes, just get a cheap set and put paint on them. You know, make them look used and you can you can make one of these oh celeste i bet you can yeah i'll show you the book um oh claire that would be so fun how would i go about that who would who would who can print calendars cost efficiently i wonder i need to think on i thought of that with my farm animals i should never do that I hate when I see myself go back here and bend over. Here's the book. It was $5, I think, at Walmart. Um, you can see, nope, the side. There's that paper right there. Um, and that's the one I used. You could use any of these papers for the background. Um, but how many of you have heard that Elizabeth and I, Tater Buggin' and Ellie's Attic, are starting a little group that's going to have events for y'all periodically. Um, the Memphis Bells, and she's already set up a group. Oh, that's one I don't have, Cindy. Do you have the link to that group for Memphis Bells? Our very first event is going to be Saturday, June 25th. So far, I think it's safe 
Well, Elizabeth, can I say who's in the lineup just so far? Hey, Tarita. You joined Nelda. Great. Great. We all grew up in Memphis. You know, Trish is a part of it. Um, Tanya from Hummingbird Painery. There it is. Mr. T must be home. Um, oh, good, Pat. I'm so glad. So, we've got Lee Lexi Creations. I hope I'm saying that right, getting in the right order. Um, we've got Hummingbird Painery. We've got Love and Life Jewelry, Trish Thomas Love and Life. We've got Amanda Maid. Um, and guess what? Here's something we're going to do. It's The whole reason for it is we want to lift up new creators, you know, who have new businesses, um, and, and get eyes on them. We also want to give y'all a chance, whenever you want to, it's totally up to you, to give it a try, to go live. You don't have to have a business page. And just see, if you want to know what the experience is like of going live and um, crafting in front of a bunch of people for an hour, you'll get to try that. And this time, it's going to be the one and only Opa. She jumped in and said she would do it. Oh, good hope. And uh, so we're already thinking towards another one, probably in August. So, yeah, uh, anybody can join, Darlene. Please do. Oh, thank you, Becky, for those stars. You're so sweet. Thank you. So we just want to, um, you know, we'll have our little core group for the Memphis Bells, but then we're gonna we're gonna rotate newbies and. <laughs> I know Karen Karen uh, texted me just as you got there. I didn't, but I couldn't read it because I was live. What did she say? You don't have to see the text. Oh, she okay. Took, she took a picture. Oh, she did. She took a picture. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Opa's going to jump in there. So, y'all so start thinking about if you think you might want to do that sometime and take a slot in one of our events and just give it a try. How fun would that be? You know, because... It, sometimes it's different on this end, you know, and to keep it going, to read the comments, to get the lighting right, to set up your camera angle, and uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm excited. I know Elizabeth's excited. Everybody that's in it's pretty excited about it, and we'll be announcing the schedule, the lineup for next, I think it's, what is that, a week from Saturday? Is that right? Yeah, there went Mr. Perfect. He had to come in and, and do his... Um, cameo appearance no 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 let me get that straight no just the ones that it's just because elizabeth and i and trish and uh tanya most of the the core grew up in memphis that's why elizabeth called it the memphis bells and she and i are just putting it all together and no we want everybody we want whoever wants to to join please join and um yes memphis bells creative circle and we're just we're just looking forward to having fun and lifting up these sweet new creatives. Um, Y'all hop over and follow Lee Lexi Design Lee Lexi Creations. I'm I'm drawing a blank. Come on, Simone. We want you to be. We want you to be. <laughs> that was Elizabeth's idea, Francis. The Memphis Bells, and y'all know that the airplane of Memphis Bell, and she used Graceland as our cover photo, which I think is fun. Oh, good, Regina. I'm so glad. Um, so we're we're just really excited about that, and um, it's going to be um, like a a Fourth of July event on the 25th. And so there'll be some patriotic stuff. If I know Ellie's Attic, she'll put a whole different spin on it. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, okay, y'all, it's 5.04. Ellie's Attic will be on at 5.45. Amanda Mae will be on at 7.30 tonight. So um, you've got a whole slot of entertainment coming. Oh, Hope, you're so sweet. You are so sweet. 
Yes, Lee Lexi Creations. Y'all go follow her. She's a sweetheart, sweetheart. And um, she's excited about being in it, and uh, we want to grow her numbers. Go to Memphis Bell's Creative Circle. Just um, search for that on Facebook. It should pop up. It'll be a picture of Graceland. And um, just join. And we'll welcome you in with open arms, and it's going to be fun. Oh, oh, good, Patty. Thank you for that. Yeah, let your friends know if, if um, you have friends who you think might enjoy that. It's, it's probably going to be, it's Memphis Bell's Creative Circle. So, um, yes, I did, Regina. And Debbie Gwynn won, I can't say that word, is Happy Mail. <laughs> She's going to get this in Happy Mail. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to have more happy mail. We're not going to just listen. To, but this was what I had promised y'all for celebration week, uh, that I would do one of these, and I finally got it done. <clears throat> so, there we go. I think, is that all the business? We got a Belle Lily. We got the Living Love and Life jewelry. We got our creative circle. We've got all kinds of things. So, Okay, y'all go have a great evening. Thank you for joining the group, and um, I'll see you over at Ellie's Attic at 545. Bye, y'all. Love you.